time this morning already on the morning brew. We haven't even started the show yet with, with Wayne Corny's MD for Men. We got Alito Connell here with the Special Collections Library with very, very big books. We got JB, he's a Duke City rocker, and Sean Bacuccini there here to talk about a new motorcycle rally that will help uh, the uh, paws and stripes. And then apparently I'm going to be learning how to do some tango dance in just a bit, all on the morning brew with friends. Then come on over. Into the disco scene. Now you, almost anything you say, I just have to be funny. Yeah, because of your line of work for I get to talk about fun things. Right, it's Men's Health Month. Yeah, well, it's Prostate Cancer Awareness Month. Perfect. You know, getting the word out for guys. Hey, get your, talk to your doc. Find out more about prostate cancer, whether or not you need to be screened. Perfect. Well, first things first this morning, we got to do our headlines that are brought to us by the guy at Hairdressing Academy. And this first thing, this is kind of mind-blowing. I know you were telling me earlier you weren't quite following the story. So I'll bring you up to speed very quickly. Two months ago, APS hired a new superintendent. Yesterday, he quit. It's, he, he essentially got fired. But, like, he said, I'm resigning. It was the, I think it was that mutual separation agreement they talk about, you know? Uh -huh. do, you, do you quit or do we fire you? I, right. think it was, I think it was one of those. It was a closed-door meeting. But the, uh, basically, he kind of showed up, took over APS, hired a sex offender, and then said, oops, and that guy is now arrested in Colorado, and he lost his job, just like that. And I don't know what that says about Albuquerque when we can't even keep a superintendent. When the search for the superintendent was twice as long as the superintendent's tenure, <laughs> which is kind of mind-blowing to me. And then in other awesome political news, the uh, Secretary of State could be impeached, and already now people are yelling that she's fired. Uh, she's the, the second highest ranking Republican in the state as the Secretary of State, Diana Durant. And news broke this last weekend that she racked up more than $300,000 in gambling debts, but not with her own huh. money, uh, with her campaign contribution money. So if you, a lot of people who donated their money to her campaign got to see it thrown away at the casino. So people are now saying she needs to be either fired or she needs to resign. And so it's great, awesome political news. I don't know, are you from here, Doctor? Uh, no, originally I traveled a little bit. From, it, does this kind of Europe stuff, and then came here. for those of us from here, it's kind of par for the course when this kind of crazy stuff happens. But for people from out of state, they're like, how do you guys even keep a state running? It's amazing. I mean, you know, but all the system that we have and all the problems and, yeah. you know, it's got to be complicated. Right. And, and frustrating. We, and we still manage to keep New Mexico rolling. Hey, Somehow. survivors. Right. <laughs> That's exactly it. Um, and this next thing, we were talking about bucket lists a little while ago. This was one of my bucket list things. I, I, love, I love the ancient world. I love reading about the ancient world. And in ancient uh, Palmyra, which was a Roman outpost in northern Syria, there was these beautiful, amazing temples that were still standing. They were 25, 3,000 years old, 2,500 years old. And uh, they were, this was the Temple of Bel, and it was one of the, just the grand Roman temples in northern Syria. And people forget that Rome, you know, basically took over the whole Mediterranean for decades, hundreds of years. And um, ISIS comes in, blows it up. Destroys it. Just destroys it. They're destroying everything as they move across northern, uh, across that whole region right now, all of these ancient ruins. I think everybody's worried about it now. We'll see what what happened, some Anunnaki stuff and Roman stuff, everything. Just and they also blown executed up. that antiquities expert. That's it, because I mean, they don't even want people to know what they're blowing up. As the antiquities experts are saying, hey, don't blow that up, they're like, we're just going to kill you. So it's craziness. But on the good side of things, here in Albuquerque, we're getting a new brewery. We had these guys on the show. I love this. Cactus Brewery, although I guess the, the guy says because it's spelled with a K, it's Cactus. But Cactus Brewery is going to be opening up a new, a new brewery at Knob Hill right across the street from UNM, which would be awesome. Nice. Um, I love their beer. It's a nice multi beer rather than like the marble hoppy beer. Sure. So if, you're if, you if your taste tend to a more of a milder beer, works for you. it's a great beer for that. Nice. And then right across the street, we love this here at the Morning Brew when we see like some kind of action in our own neighborhood downtown at our studio. And across the street from us is a new condo hotel called the Condo Tell. And it's the, at Anthea, and it's a hotel, but it's, it's kind of the extended stay hotel. You know, if you have to go somewhere for work and spend two, three months there, you don't want to just be cooped up in a little hotel room. And here's, like, the mayor cutting the ribbon, which is always great to see. And finally, my new favorite presidential candidate, this guy. We have a photo of him. There it is. 
Kanye. Kanye. He is running for president. And he announced on Twitter yesterday, officially, officially it's on. He's, he's For 2020. Yeah, um, no, it's this, this year, 2016. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's on. Like, I am thinking Kanye for president, and then I'm thinking maybe Iggy Azalea for vice president. Because <laughs> nice. I'm, I'm just thinking. But, That'll work. And then Dan, the director back here, suggested, suggested Nicki Minaj for secretary of state. I mean, we could just have the whole yeah, yeah. hip-hop cabinet. And then, you know, I think... Why are you limiting it to hip-hop? Well, if it's Kanye, it's got to be the hip-hop okay, cabinet, right. you know. And then I think Jay-Z has got to be his chief of staff. And then I think maybe we can get Rev Run in there from Run DMC. Nice. As, you know, put, just slot Rev Run in. He could go anywhere. That kind of like a utility player, I think. He could be anything. And then, of course, you can't forget about LL. Cool there. Right, right. So put some LL. So you're not going to branch out to Eminem? No, no, because no, he's, he's got a day job. Okay, okay. The other guys don't have day jobs anymore. <laughs> We'll be back in a couple of seconds on the Morning Brew after we like assemble our imaginary awesome hip-hop cabinet based around Kanye as president nice. on the Morning Brew.